everyone. Uh, welcome to our CData Coffee Break webinar on data replication and transformation with Databricks. I want to remind everyone that this session is being recorded and we'll make the recording available to all the registrants after the webinar ends. Please enter any questions that you have in the Q&A panel on Zoom. We'll make sure to get those addressed on the chat or directly in the session. Uh, my name is Arun Anand. I'm a, a solutions engineer with CData, um, and I'll be hosting this session. We also have Bawin Chawla. He is a solutions engineer also, and uh, he'll be leading the demo today. And helping me with the Q&A is Kumar Garab, who is also a solutions engineer. So with that, I will pass it on over to Bawin for the demo. Thanks, Bawin. In today's session, we shall provide a quick background about the company, a brief overview about Sync, and we shall showcase how to transform replicated data on Databricks using C Data Sync. Here's a quick background about the company. We are based in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, with regional offices in EMEA and APAC regions. C Data Software is a real time data connectivity company. Our self-service data products and connectivity solutions provide universal access to live data from hundreds of popular on-prem and cloud applications. We have over 300 employees and 10,000 plus active customers and hundreds of OEM partners. Moving on, here's a quick background about Sync. C Data Sync is a universal data pipeline that enables you to move data easily and efficiently to any destination. Sync supports hundreds of enterprise data sources and destinations such as Databricks, SQL Server, Oracle, and much more. Sync is also available as an on-prem solution and as a cloud offering. So uh, let's talk about the use case uh, that we're gonna be demonstrating today over here. We are going to talk about transforming replicated data on Databricks. So uh, why would a user have to do this? Let's say in a real life scenario, you're going to replicate data from an ERP system. All right, and the ERP system has a lot of test data available. So we are going to replicate this, the original raw data from the ERP system onto our data warehousing system. You will transform the data and filter out the test and the non-test data. With the informational aspects out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at a quick demo. All right, so what we're looking at right now is the C Data Sync dashboard. So this dashboard would let you see the total number of job runs, the successful job runs, basically the status of all the jobs, the rows that were affected, the trends, the recent job runs, the last runs, upcoming job runs, etc. Right. So in today's session, we are going to be talking about two different connections. One is Sage Intact. That is the source that we're going to be using. And then the destination, that is the data breaks. So we're going to be replicating data from Sage Intact to data breaks and then transform the replicated data on data breaks. So let's move to jobs, create a replication job. We'll call it demo replication. Click the source as Sage and the destination as Databricks. Click on Create. I'm going to click on Add Tasks. Let's search for the customer's account table. Just going to rename the destination table name by clicking on this. So we'll call it demo replication data. Okay. Set OK again. Let's select this and click on run. All right. 
right? If you notice, the state is, is running right now. So let's just give it a minute. While the job is running, let me quickly talk about the other features that are available over here. So schedule would help you enable a scheduler for the job. The notifications are to configure email notifications and logging and history where uh, you can view the job history. We have events for pre-job event and post-job event and advanced settings for advanced job settings. Any point of time uh, require any kind of assistance, you can always take a look at the documentation that is available on top right over here. Just by clicking on this, a new link would open up. A new page basically. You can refer to all the set of instructions provided over here to accomplish whatever you're looking for. The replication job is completed successfully. Now let's go to the Databricks Data Explorer and search for demo replication data. All right, there we go. So if you notice, this uh, replication data has a lot of test accounts and a lot of actual customer accounts. So we are going to be filtering out the test and the non-test accounts using a transformation. Just save this. Let's move to transformations. Click on create transformation. We'll call it transform replicated data. Create. Configure. In the interest of time, we already have some predefined queries available, so we're going to be making use of that right now. So here is the table that I'm looking at, demo replicated data. OK, now let's go ahead and run these transformations. Perfect, looks like the transformation is completed. Let's save this and look, look for the transformed data. OK, so. So test data one has all the test customer accounts. So non-test data has all the customer accounts, which are actually live. And that's it for the demo. At this point of time, we'd like to open the session up for questions. Thanks for your time, everybody. Thanks, Bobin. So uh, while we're waiting for some questions to trickle into the chat, uh, I do have some frequently asked questions that customers uh, often ask us about sync. Um, so we can just go through those here. Uh, I mean, one of the most common questions that we get is related to pricing, how CData Sync is priced and, and licensed. Uh, so you can find some
preliminary licensing information on our website at cdata.com slash sync slash pricing. Um, you can also get in touch with a member of our sales team for more information. So just please contact sales at cdata.com. Um, our team will be happy to schedule a quick 15 minute discussion with you uh, and we can dive deeper into your specific environment and the associated licensing costs. So in terms of installation and deployment, a common question that we get is where sync needs to be installed. Sync can be installed on premise and we also do support cloud deployments. Um, it's available on Windows and we have a platform agnostic Java version that you can deploy on Linux or wherever else you might want to. Um, there's uh, additional information on installation and configuration of sync. Um, so I'm going to place that in the chat um, so that everybody can see that uh, installation documentation. So uh, the other question is whether sync can be used with other data sources and destinations besides Databricks. So sync can absolutely be used with a, a whole bunch of different available sources and, and destinations. Uh, you can actually see the full listing of source and, and supported destinations on our website. It's a pretty broad list of different systems that we integrate with here at Cdata. So all of that is supported in sync and I will drop the link to uh, the source and destination listing in the chat. So there's a question, is there a, a free trial available? We do have a free 30 day trial uh, of sync available on our website. Um, we can provide support during that evaluation. So feel free to contact support at cdata.com with any technical questions. I'll place a link to the trial download in the chat here. So there's a question from the chat uh, from Romald. Uh, does Cdata Sync offer data virtualization uh, or data visualization um, services? Sync is not a data visualization platform. It's an ETL and, and data replication platform. So really the, the strength of Sync is to be able to migrate your data from uh, a whole host of different sources. We support around 300 different source systems and those could be applications, they could be databases, they could be uh, file-based storage. Uh, but really the, the power of Sync is to be able to take all of this data and move it into a common data warehouse. And in our example today, we went over replication into Databricks and transformation of data in Databricks. But you could imagine a scenario where you're loading it into SQL Server, let's say, and you can visualize it from a tool like Power BI or Tableau. So we do support those kinds of visualization use cases, but CData Sync is not in itself a visualization platform. So hopefully that addresses the question, Ramon. Let us know if you have any follow-up on that. So another frequently asked question is if, if you download sync and you run into any kind of error message, who would you reach out to? So in those kinds of cases, if you are using the, the free trial version, you still have access to our support team. So you can feel free to reach out to support at cdata.com with any details of what you're running into. We'll, back, we'll get back to you as soon as possible with, with a resolution. So uh, the other question that came in is, what are the, the basic system requirements for installing Sync? Sync is very lightweight. There's really not very many extensive requirements for uh, infrastructure, but uh, we do have a basic set of questions that you can see on the chat here. Uh, I've placed a link to uh, some basic deployment options. So uh, the next question is, what happens if there's an error during the data replication? Will I get incomplete results? Um, th no, that's not the case. Sync has a, a built-in fail-safe for that kind of a scenario. Sync will initially replicate to a temporary table. Only when that replication is fully completed successfully, that temporary table is gonna be merged with the actual destination. Um, and so that avoids any kind of incomplete results or any data integrity issues that you might be um, anticipating there. So I do want to honor the, the 15 minute time limit for the webinar. Um, so I want to quickly cover some next steps with you all. 
Um, so you can see these up on the website. You can learn more about SYNC and download the free trial version, like I said, at cdata.com slash SYNC. Uh, the link is up on the slides. Um, if you have any questions, uh, either before downloading the trial or, or after you've downloaded, if you have any questions that you'd like to interact with our team on, uh, please reach out to sales at cdata.com. Um, our team will be happy to set up some time with you to discuss that further. Um, and so let us know. We're, we're available to support you through any uh, questions that you might have. Uh, we'll stick around for another couple of minutes here to address any last-minute questions that might trickle in. So there's a question um, in the chat about the NetSuite ODBC driver and uh, you know, retrieving live data from NetSuite APIs. Uh, that's a great question. So the, the question is basically, um, we're retrieving NetSuite data on a live basis through ODBC, but uh, we're running into some performance issues. That's actually a known element of working with NetSuite. Um, the, the API connection is not the most performant. And sync is actually a fantastic way to address that kind of a scenario because instead of interacting with the data on a live basis, you can pull the data and, and replicate it into a data warehouse like Databricks or uh, any other type of relational database. And when you're actually querying that data, you'll have database level performance. Um, so it's a much better way of uh, addressing that kind of requirement, especially when you have concerns about performance. So it looks like we've addressed all the questions so far. Uh, we'll follow up over email. If there's anything, uh, any other questions that we weren't able to get to here. Uh, thanks for attending everyone. We'll see you at the next webinar.